Hi, I'm Lava Bad. Welcome. If you're new here, take the time out to subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you don't, don't like it. Do you, honey? Because it's Friday turn up. Friday turn up. All right, so um, I have a couple things for you. Okay, so one is, did y'all know um, Ulta is giving out their packages in this now? Remember back in the day when Ulta would put in like something as small as a compact into a big old box? Remember that? And then they would just, they wouldn't even really bubble wrap it. And it'd be a big old box. So they're not being wasteful. They're putting it in these things here. In envelopes. Which is cool. Um, I think. My package was delivered in... Hi, Cynthia. My package was delivered somewhere else. In, oh, in Round Rock, Texas. So it took like 100 days to get here. So whatever. All right. Uh, <laughs> welcome, uh, Cynthia. Welcome. I don't know. I think this is, would be your first live. Would it be your first live, girl? You can thumbs up the video if you if you like. Um, or you don't, I don't have to. Whatever. So today's choice oh choice is it wine wine of choice choice of wine whatever i'm not drunk yet i'm not even tipsy girl i am drinking sutter home pinot grigio california the year is it doesn't say <laughs> are these aged who knows hi queen b hey what's up a lot of newbies today. Maybe y'all don't say hi. Maybe y'all don't comment. But I'm glad that you're commenting now. But, um, so I wanted to try this. The Vino Pop. So I purchased some, um, I purchased some, by the way, this is one serving, just so you know. One serving glass. It is, um, the size is the blah, 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 blah. 187 milliliters doesn't say the ounces but um it's one serving and you get i think four for like at 7-eleven i think they're like 6.99 um but i wanted to try this so i purchased some wine we're always picking up the groceries on his way home from work it's a grocery pickup so it's really easy for him he doesn't even gotta lift a finger besides signing off um but ulta had a, a sale well they still have a sale and then they have a 20 percent off this was on sale and, and i heard um that this is still on sale this is Alyssa edwards um anastasia beverly hills yes i talk a lot of shit about them <laughs> i talked about shit about the daughter the daughter i don't like was because she's so thirsty but um this i always thought this was really beautiful hi alicia and I wasn't willing to pay full price. This is regular, regularly $42. And um, I bought it for $31.50. So how much is that? Less than... <laughs> I can tell you right now it's less than $42. How about that? I can count. Um, but, okay, so I just want to say that um, every Anastasia Beverly Hills comes with this little insert. Yeah, it's a good price. And I think it's still on sale, boo. Um, it's Texas made. Texas made. I like that. It's, it says I don't know if that's the what's the name of the, uh, the palette. It's um I don't get cute. I get drop dead gorgeous. And now you can too. My dream for this palette was to create. Oh, it's a quote. Um, Texas made. Dream it and believe. Okay, so cool. I like that. But it just has like the ingredients or whatever. And um, you get a brush that no one ever uses. You just got the new James Charles palette. Well, I just got the new Wet n Wild palette. <laughs> um, I think this is the one that he was pissed off about. I think Wet n Wild knew about this mini palette that he was putting out. And I think this is the one that he's actually mad about. Like, that it's copying that one. Whatever. I mean, look, I don't support crybabies. I really don't. I think he's a big fat crybaby. I don't like his attitude and just him in general. So I will never support that man. But I will support Anastasia Beverly Hills. Look how pretty. 
ABH purchased today the new Norvina volume one. Do you have that one yet? I need to watch some tutorials. No, and I will not be, even though they are really beautiful palettes, but I just feel like for $62, you got to let me know if you think it's worth it. You got to let me know. All right. Um, the first one I thought was beautiful. And then the last one. The second one with all the blues, I was not feeling it. Are you a collector, Mrs. Queen Bee? I'm not a collector of Anastasia. Um, but I'm, I, I like what I like. And I couldn't pass this one up for that price. Oh, I don't, I only have the, I have like two dupes of the Modern Renaissance, so I don't have the ABH Modern Renaissance, but I do have the dupes. Okay, so I just want to say, why don't they put effort into the brushes? I feel like this is a high-end brand. What's the point of, sh like, don't, don't put a brush. Nobody never, I'm going to use it today because I like to do that, but. Yeah, I hear everyone always says, I don't like the brush. I don't like the brush. Why do they keep doing that? Why don't you give us another row? It looks like another row of colors could fit here. Take this away and give us another row of colors. I mean, I think that would be bomb. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen 10, 12, 14 colors for $42. How much is that a piece? I don't know. Do the math because I, I ain't going to do it. Not at the top of my head. I, girl, I can't do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a... Oh, and then I also hauled this. Now, It's Lori's Life was talking about CoverGirl um, pressed powder. I don't know if this was the right one. I asked her, but she never responded. Um, I think hers was True Match, but I couldn't find the True Match. I got this one, the CoverGirl Clean. Um, but she put it on, and it looked like there was, n like, flawless. Um, so that's why I got it. Let me take a sip. I'm parched. Who's sipping some wine with me? Ladies, take out whatever you're drinking. Sip with me. Let's talk. Get ready with me. The first drink is always... Oh. Let's see if I can do my eyebrows. I'm a little tipsy. Oh, you're pregnant? My bad. <laughs> you got root beer? Okay, root beer, water, juice. Vodka with juice, whatever. All right, let's get started. Look at me. I I moisturized. You could tell too, right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick. Um. Okay. So I saw I saw a couple looks. You know, I was kind of like just trying to get inspiration for this palette. Now, I did see one. I I will try to link the video after this video, if I remember, um, of the inspiration look, okay? Because it is an Instagram. Um, I don't even know if she's a... I just saw it on the... When I put in the tagline. Um, I don't think I'm going to do as a good a job as she did because her work was bomb. Um, but I will totally um, shout her out. I don't know her name. So I'll just put her a link to the video at the end. So y'all can, if y'all want to follow her, y'all want to look at her work, for sure. Hey, Queen! Hey, girl! Friday turn up! Queen was getting turned earlier. Is that a secret? Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do skinny eyebrows. Hey, Mimi! What's up, girl? How are you? I hope you're well. I think you were in the gym today. Was that today? Give me eyebrows today. I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. The eyebrows is not the most important part though. It does frame the look. So you kind of want to get a little bit right. <laughs> Good for you, girl. When I was working out, I used to go to this outdoor, um, it was an outdoor gym. And I like that better for me. Um, these are not even the same. Lord. Um, hi, Destiny. Okay. You know what? We're going to fix them as we go. We're just going to do the, just kind of do the basic. 
Don't pay attention to this. Thank you. We miss you too. Okay. We gonna prime the eyes because we want these colors to pop. So I'm going to use because um, it's right here. I know I haven't seen you in a minute. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm just using a concealer. They don't look they don't look fine, girl. But we gonna I ain't worried about that right now. Like, cause I feel like I appreciate your your compliment, but uh I ain't gonna worry about that. Work, work, work. Wang, 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 wang. I wish I could play music, but if I do, I can't put this up, so I'm screwed. I told Rue, I texted her, I was like, babe, when you come in, please don't make too, too much noise. I'm going to be on live. All right. I feel like this is going to be a disaster, so go, go ahead and stay for the disaster if you want. All right, we're going to start off with yellow. Ooh. Here we go. We're going to use this brush here, the Anastasia brush, and we're going to dip into Brick Road. This is the Alyssa Edwards palette. And it's going to be a cut crease. Three tone. Here we go. Mm. Okay. There's fallout. For people that care about that stuff, there's fallout. Okay. Hi! <laughs> Tried to get the instrumentals. Um... Too much work i have songs downloaded but they're for on my phone because they're for videos you know someone told me about that though and, um, all right so um this is an inspiration inspirational look a uh, copycat if you will copycat look that i'm probably not gonna get you know <laughs> but whatever all right let's get the brushes over here um, Michaela, are you, um, did I say hi to Michaela? Yeah, that yellow, it's because that, girl, yes, Anastasia, um, of Beverly Hills does not play, honey, I told you. Oh, so, Michaela, um, are you having a glass with me? <laughs> All right, we're gonna get in a pink. We're gonna get into Texas Made, which um, I'm from Texas. If you don't know, now you know. I'm from Texas. Born and raised, ain't never really left anywhere but Texas. All right, here we go. I'm getting into Texas Made. It's a pink. Woo woo. <laughs> Where's Michaela? All right, here we go. You hate Queen of Destiny, I suppose, if you're going to twist my arm. I mean, I mean, are we um, twine sisters? <laughs> I'm such a, uh, what's it called? Not an enabler. Peer pressure. -er -er. Hi, hey, hi, Mary Lou. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get that pink and put that in the middle, kind of blend it into the yellow and bring it out this way. This looks like a hot mess. Oh, lot. Now, I'm just remembering by memory, y'all. <laughs> I hear Rue. There goes the dog going crazy. I had to put a, a candle by them because they were smelling a little sour. <laughs> There's a candle burning by their, their, um, their room. I said hi to Mary Lou, right? All right. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to get that brush that had the yellow and I'm going to bring that over the pink just to make sure it's blended. We're always talking to somebody outside. Um, I'm, I'm doing amazing. I was bored and I was like counting the hours till I got on live. All right. 
moving on to believe. So far, well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I'm doing like this. Kind of making that shape to bring the eye up so it looks larger. And um, blending it into the pink. Man, that, that concealer sure made them pop, like didn't it, it though? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, you doing? Calm down. I should never warn him that he's on live so he could come in and be like, hey, bitch. Punch me in my face. No, he doesn't do that. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> doing my thing. My, I have to get my beach ready for a bit. Okay. Bye. Thank you for um, showing up, though. I appreciate you. Have a good night, love. I don't I like your beats. Know. I knew what you were saying, though. I always got jokes. What are you talking about? Babe. Huh? Um, I saw the substitute. Huh? Can I have my wine? Yeah. Can I go get it? I'm going to it right there. Right he gave me a kiss? Yes. Yeah. You don't feel like I'm focusing. I'm in the zone. Auto zone. Okay, look. Um, this is not. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna give that a try right now. I'm gonna give you a right now. Um, everyone saying hi. Oh, well, Michaela said hi. hi. Michaela said hi. Baby, you remind me. Michaela's hi. husband reminds me of you. What? He's so sweet. He's just a sweet, sweet guy. Okay, so you need to tell your women. He's a nice guy. And King reminds me of you. That's Queen's husband. Okay. All right. He gave me a kiss again? Did you give me another kiss? I didn't even notice. All right, blending them together. He said, hi, girl. Okay. Yes, girl. We are so blessed. If you got a good man, um, if you got a good man at home, throw up an eggplant. <laughs> throw up a cucumber, girl. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, this is a pony. <laughs> Girl, you know my hair is about this short. Remember? All right, all right, all right, all right. Stop, Lala. He's sitting right here getting him points and stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> He's going to act extra. Girl, good. Let him act extra nice. Okay. Mike. Hmm? Okay. So then she cut the crease. So let's cut the crease. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think I went too high already. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna pat that in. And while this is drying, I think I'm gonna go do this eye real quick. You ever, you ever notice your second eye is always like easy? I feel bad because I'm not helping with the groceries. <laughs> I know, I'm not worried. Don't worry, I'm not worried. <laughs> Damn that yellow. Do I leave the coffee pot this morning on? No. Oh, I have put the I put the I put the coffee on. We have a, a teapot. It's just, I just put water and I boil the water because we drink instant coffee. And I put it on and I was so I was editing. 
And so all of a sudden I started smelling plastic burning. I ran over here, all the water had evaporated and I burnt my teapot. That's funny. So that's why I did it. Oh, you thought you had did it? Yeah, but nothing. No, it was me. It was me. And my boy tried nothing. Okay, so we I got oh, see this has a cork. This one is called Behringer Main Vine Pino. And then I got another one. It's a bigger bottle. No, I got I got it here, babe. I just need my other bottle. Is that bad? Oh, not that bad. I know girl, my husband is making dinner and I'm in the room watching you. Girl, you probably cook all week. So he could cook for one day. That's so lovely though. Oh, I thought it was a bigger bottle. It's oak leaf pinot and it has the the top. I want to use my thing. I want to sh I want to share my thing and use it. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all women should be off. If Tony's listening, he needs to hear this. <laughs> all women are off. They don't wash dishes. They don't cook dinner. They get their feet rubbed, their back rubbed. And if they want to get D down, then they get D down too. I do. Huh? I do for you. Oh, they say you don't want to get D down. I said, what? Oh, that's sweet. That's tag team. I love tag team work. It always goes by so much quicker. Yeah, tag team. Or you could tag team it, but don't do it by yourself. That's not fair. <laughs> I hope I don't get none of y'all divorced. <laughs> I hope y'all don't come back and be like, look, bitch, you need to shut up. You got me divorced. And I'm going to be like, damn, my bad. My bad, sis. Oh, yeah, cucumbers. Throw them up. <laughs> throw up them cucumbers. Cucumbers. Um, so, um, okay. Um, I just want to ask a question. Ooh, this side looks a lot better, doesn't it? Um, does anyone know about and Andrea Mills on YouTube? Was anyone subscribed to her? Or maybe you saw a, um, yes? No? Okay. On my feed, you know how you be getting some crazy ass stuff on your feed? Um, there was a video, right? And it was, the title was, How Andrea Miller Really Died. And it was her husband, right? She was a YouTuber, let me tell you about her. Um, cause I, you know, I kind of, I've been obsessed for the past three days. She was a YouTuber. You did? Okay. She was a YouTuber who never, she, she was like, had a lot of people. She had a lot of um, subscribers. Um, but she, she never monetized herself, but she was someone who had nine kids. She was an older female. Um, she had just had a baby like six months ago. And um, her channel was about living in a small house with nine kids, two adults, and how to organize your home. And, and so when I, the video I first started with was with her husband on there talking about how she had died and how she had got sick and how she, she, was, she, she didn't even know she was sick. It turns out that she, was, she had, had breast cancer. They found out when they, they had finally took her blood and everything. Um, and she had already died. They found out that she had had breast. It was breast cancer that she had. And um, when she was breastfeeding her baby, um, her breastfeeding her baby um, is what kind of slowed down the cancer. But um, basically, she was feeling sick in her stomach. It was basically all her organs shut down. And within I don't know a couple months, I think four or five months, she was she was gone. Okay, yes. Okay, she was, but she had the she had, had the baby, yeah. But she was, yeah, she was basically sick when she when she was sick. She she was pregnant. Okay, by the way, okay. So there's so much I want to say about this. Okay, so there are videos that were on the bottom of that video, and it was of him. Um, it was like two, like there was like a couple, like three or four videos, and they were like one minute, two minute long of him going live 
while she was out of it and he was going live and showing it and all all the kids all nine kids were in the hospital bed basically because it's called the last visit i believe or or the, yeah it's called the last visit is what it's titled and the kids are all sitting around and they're all just looking at her all in despair sad um crying worried and he's with the camera on live like hey this is her and she's mumbling out of it totally drugged up you know because she was in pain um and i was like what the is he doing tell me do y'all think that that is foul for your husband to be having the camera or this dude to be having the camera in his children's face at this moment while his wife is dying how do y'all feel about that okay so okay so okay did you go back and watch your channel okay so then i was like i saw that and i was like oh like you know of course heartbroken and I was like, you know, I was feeling some type of way. At first, you know, when I, I was like, okay, maybe he's, it's because, you know, some people that are in grief, are grieving, they, um, they kind of, you know, they just don't know how to be. I'm not even going to say they don't know how to act because it's not an act. They just don't know how to be, right? So, um, yes, yes, okay. So I went back and I was like, you know, I'm going to honor this woman. I'm going to go look at her channel. I'm going to, I'm going to go look, right? So I, so I started looking. You should be trying to comfort your children. Yes. And you should be next to your wife holding her hand. Because I know Rue would be right there. He wouldn't care about none of that shit. He would be holding my hand and he would be like giving me my last kisses, making sure that I knew I was going out with him near me. Yes, okay, it may. You, okay, so you go back and watch her old channel, like her old videos, like even in May. And she's like, she gave birth at home to the, and I, she had to be like in her 50s because she looked like an older woman. She had gray hair. Well, it's not gray, gray, but you know, but she looked like a good, sturdy, healthy woman. And she was a God fearing woman. She, she played um, the Bible in loudspeakers throughout her home for 24 hours a day. The kids would listen to that. And her videos are just so interesting. To me, I love organization. So she she like had it together. Um, and she didn't, she did not have her videos monetized and she was getting a lot of views. And so I saw a, a, a lot, cause the husband's taken over the channel. Before he was not, he was in it. They would do vlogs, but he was not in, in it. The way she was like showing her home and giving us tips and helping us out. And she always said she just wanted to help people. That's why she never monetized. So when she passed away, he took over the channel and he's putting on the monetization. And he said that he's quitting his, he's quitting work um, to take care of the kids, which, which is cool, but that he's turning on the monetization. So he's able to turn on the monetization and make money off YouTube. Cool. Good job. But then he's asking for donations. And I was all like, okay, that, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm like, dude, like, it just, I'm just like, look, like looking at him in a little side eye, like, hi, Rutensia. I don't know. I mean, people want to send him things. That's cool. But I'm just saying, like, that's kind of, I'm just kind of like, and he's getting now all the time on live and, and talking. And I feel like he's kind of like, trying to make money what's it called when you when you try to make money off um i'm using the uh Alyssa edwards how it was 31.50 at ulta i don't know i just felt some type of way about it i feel like their type of relationship was one of those that they are drawn to wanting the same things in life and be having the same principles more than like emotional or physical connection exploitation there you go yeah i mean yeah i mean i don't know you don't know what's going on in a marriage but i don't know i just feel like he was exploiting her death and i think that's fucking crazy and i didn't like it this side looks a lot better than this side but we'll see what happens 
all relationships are different, you know, but I would just hope that, like, if, God forbid, something was going on with your life, that Tony would have the camera on the baby's faces, like, I would feel some type of way, if, if Raul ever does that, I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna, <laughs> the people who know my home address, y'all come beat his ass. <laughs> Yeah, he even says it in the video. Girl, I, I've been obsessed with them lately. I just watched the home birth, and I was like, oh, my God. They're just so happy. They had, she had the baby at the house. She had to go to the hospital. She, she's even talking about blood. Like, she's even talking about how her, she started not feeling good. Um, <laughs> I'll come up for him. And um, I feel like. The, the kids missed her. She was gone for a day at the hospital. The kids missed She came back and they were all over her. And it was just like, oh my God. Like, my heart was like crying. It was hurting inside for these kids. Um, that, that, you know, because that's a horrible thing losing your mother at a young age. And then there's nine of them and she just had a baby. They, yeah, they, they did not. What, they didn't they didn't know what was going on that's the thing they didn't know she she didn't know she was sick she said he said this is his story that she was just feeling like she was constipated all the time this was like after the baby oh yeah yeah we're talking about this uh a youtuber um but That her she died and her husband's explo exploiting her death. I think I don't know. That's what's going on. All right, um, moving on to uh, should I do the purple right here, the yellow right here, and the pink right here? Nah, we'll do what that girl did. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm doing a copycat makeup look, y'all. This does not look like homegirls look. Oh, and then she brought home the placenta from the from from her birth. They had the placenta. And I think she made like a shake because she was like a herbalist, like where she believed that her, her, you know herbs will heal, heal you the natural way. And so she I think she made a shake. So, was the cancer inside the placenta? I don't know. This does not look like what homegirls look. <laughs> this does not look like homegirls look. I'm going to do the color Beyond. I'm going to go to Beyond instead of Texas Made. Well, I think she, I think she drank it because you know how they say if you drink, and then I think you got to drink it raw because, you know, they say when you drink the placenta, it has like, um, like elements or like healthy stuff for, for your body and for your baby. And then I was trying to Google, yeah, some, maybe something like that. Um, maybe I, I couldn't even say girl. Stupider to be good. Oh, yes. What? <sighs> all right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. And I'm going to get back into. Oh, I'm going to get into DDC. It's like a shimmery purple. Did I say hi to Bridget? Hi, Bridget. Sorry. I was probably talking. My bad. Yeah, I wonder why. I've been getting recommended the craziest shit. This don't look like homegirls. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, but God bless that family. 
Um, I have to, I don't know. It's from Instagram. I was just um, kind of looking some inspiration. And so I saw this chick do this video. And I was like, oh shit, that's a bomb ass look. And so um, I'll tag her at the end. I'll, I'll link the video for sure. Give her credit. I don't know her name. Some Instagram makeup artist. What if? What if? This is a date night look. We're going to the circus. <laughs> Why do you wear a look like this? Oh, yeah, I ain't worried about it. Once everything comes together and I fix my eyebrows and all that, girl. But who knows if we'll even get there because I keep talking and stopping. But where do you wear a look like this? For dinner? I don't know, babe. What are we eating for dinner? Uh, what are your plans? I don't know. Well, what, what do you want to eat? ¿Qué quieres? You know what I like. Uh, me? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, yeah right. Um, tacos? Tacos or whatever. One piece outfit? To a casino? We don't got casinos over here, bro. Not in Texas. Maybe in, does Houston have casinos? No, baby. Casinos right there, but New Orleans. Like, uh, New Orleans. Like Louisiana. A concert. Remember the new kids on the block? Who was a fan? You know who I liked in in from New Kids on the Block. Y'all will never guess who I liked from the New Kids on the Block. Your best friend like Jordan? Okay, who did you like though? Vanilla Ice? Ew, he was such a douchebag. I've I've been to concerts, but I was like at free concerts that they give out in Austin. I've been to um, like club concert, not like no one that I actually knew their music or even like their music. I've been like I think I've been to a Tejano concert. Like the Hano music, but I'm like, you know, Bronco. Bronco. Raul's favorite brand is Bronco. Color Me Bad. Oh my God. I love Color Me Bad. Oh, I want to sex you up. The cutest one I think from there was the one that kind of had the thin must, the leader. Um, but now he's like this. I'm like, he grew, he grew. <laughs> One of them looked like a Rico Suave with the, oof. No, I didn't like Donnie. Ew, no. Oh, remember Marky Mark? Rico, ay, 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 oh. mm, Suave. Rico Suave. That was my time. That was my time in music, y'all. All right, let's put on some foundation. Let, what foundation should I use? Does anyone have any? Mark Wahlberg? Oh my God. He, I think he packed. No one still hasn't guessed the, um, the, um, what are they called? New kids on the block that I liked. Y'all will never guess. I have a thing for ugly guys. <laughs> that should be a hint. 
Now I like Joey with his blue eyes. He's so cute. Mark Wahlberg. Um, no, no foundation suggestions. Okay, whatevs. Then I'm gonna do, um, Lancome. Fin Fenty. I haven't used that in a minute. Oh. Too late. I picked up Lancome. Wet and wild. Too late. I picked up Lancome. Oh no. I left open my. Uh... If anyone's just walking in, I've been using the Alyssa Edwards ABH palette. Yup. Show is. And I'm just going to use a. <laughs> I'm all red. Why am I red? Is it looking any better yet? Okay, so the other day, right, I saw on Trend Mood, it was a uh, La Rock. Did you know uh, Bridget? Remember, girl, I La Rock and Laura Rock is different. They're different, girl. So different. They're different brands. Yes. It's L-O-R-O-C. That's the one that we were looking at. Remember, you are like, the packaging looks cheap. And then L-O-R-A-C. It's different, girl. The L-O-R-A-C, that's the one I don't, I don't like that brand. But L-O-R-O-C, that's the one I mess with. I, I want to get them that the artistry palette no they're both makeup brands oh i like danny the one that kind of had like a yeah him yeah i was like yeah no one guessed it because no one i had to keep it a secret because every one of my friends was like he's ugly Ugh, he's the ugly one, and I was like, was it in my my mind? I was like, he's so cute though. I have a thing for ugly guys. I don't think he's ugly. I think he's cute. And as an older man, he looks fine. And he was a muscly. I don't know if I like muscly men. So, all right. <laughs> my eyebrows look so thrown. Yo, they look gross. <laughs> what kind of person? No, you're not. <laughs> Raul has a way to show his muscles. Like, whenever I start talking about muscly guys, he starts going like this. Ugh, like, he's stretching. He's like, Ugh. Uh, and he starts doing this. I can't even roll my eyes that far back, for real. <laughs> He's probably gonna go grab tacos. I know my man. <sighs> Okay, he's a little bit better. Danny was not ugly. I didn't think he was ugly, but all my friends was like telling me that. My sister, my friends. They said, let your woman know. 
Real. Huh? They said let your woman know. Oh, okay, so I need more wine, guys. Look what I got. This video is not sponsored. I know it's cute, right? <laughs> this video is not sponsored. This is the Vino Pop. It says, oh, wine, it's a wine opener. Just push, pump, and pop. Wait. Just push, pump, and pop. Someone wants you to show their, your muscles. No, I don't have a muscle. Oh, now he's on shot. Ew. Push, pump, and pop. I uh, The joke was, it sounds like my love life. All right. So it says, put, oh, this says it's push, pump, and pop. Okay, yeah, it's fancy. All right, so it's new, because it says it on the box. Right there. And it's from As Seen on TV. And I think I got it from somewhere. Oh, for $4.99 from, I think, like, Goodwill or something. I don't even remember. Some are cheap. Okay, so um, let's open it. Now, do you want me to turn the camera around? Do y'all want to see it, like, work? Or do y'all don't care? Is anyone interested? I saw this commercial. Jason Statham is my boo. Every time I see one of the movies, King gets jealous. Really? Okay, I used to think he was cute. Let's talk about cute guys though, that we like that we could get our hands on. Okay. What would be your, like, if your husband, like, if he was in town and he really, really, and this guy wanted you back. And he was, and he was in town, your husband would let you go for it. Who would it be? Nobody, no one wants to talk now. <laughs> Brad who? Brad Pitt, I heard he was stupid as fuck. Omari Hardwick for power. I don't know who that is. Oh man. Okay, this is not fun if I don't know who it is. If any celebrity could take your virginity, who would it be? I like like guys that y'all would never think. Like Dwight from The Office. <laughs> I don't watch Power the Show. <laughs> what is this? This all has to come together somehow. What is this? Hi, Works. Um. Let me see, who would I hump? <laughs> who would I hump? My mom likes Mindhunter. Thanks for the recommendation. Oh, good, I really love that show. Either Hemsworth, oh, those are cute guys. Brad Pitt's picture? Are you talking about Brad, are you talking about Brad Pitt, girl? He is a loser, he's a, I mean, look, I don't knock anyone that smokes pot, but he just looks like a ding bag. Jason Momoa. Okay. Who would I hunt? Oh, Omari Hardwick. No, I, I have. I'll, I'll Google him one day. It's not gonna do it now because I'm on my phone. Um, I'm sure I've heard the name before. <laughs> William Levy. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Who's that? I noticed, um, I'm trying to think, like, at the top of my head, who could it be that I want to hump? Okay, 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 I'm going to break your heart, but y'all going to be mad at me. Do y'all want to hear what I heard about Jason Momoa? Or do y'all want to just keep that fantasy and not let me ruin it? Because I'll ruin it for you. <laughs> you want to hear? I saw a picture of him, like, I think... Cause he was nervous i don't know what but he was like holding his daughter like so his kids were standing in front of him and one was right here one right here boy and a girl and he was standing in the middle taking pictures there's video of it and he's like rubbing her breasts with his hands it was creepy so 
I thought he was cute too, but then I heard that and I was like, I don't know. How you know Hollywood? Hollywood's evil. The Rock. Oh my God! Yes, The Rock. Yes. Yes. Yes, The Rock. I'm more like, yeah, The Rock. He's cute. Mm -hmm. He, you know what? He's like so kind. But is it an act? I don't know. I'd be wary of motherfuckers that just be too nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's sexy. He's nice to look at. But do you think like someone, Ad Adrian Brody? Yes, with that big nose. Mm -hmm. I would ride that nose. Bro, get out of here. This is girl talk. I don't know. I just think like well, why are you saying, hmm? <laughs> He's over there getting all mad, turning red. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, how do we work this? This is all girl talk, so no one better come back at me and judge me. All right, here we go. So, um, you're supposed to put it on like this. There's like a... Y'all see that right there? Okay, put it on like this. Okay, and then what? And then you're supposed to pump it. Pump. Oh yeah, this pump. Oh, it's, it's going down. It's pumping. Wait, there's supposed to be a handle? Oh, it's going down. Oh, this is gonna give me exercise for you, baby. Okay. He said, okay. <laughs> pump it, pump it real good. Da, da, na, 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 push it real good. Da, da, na, 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 da, push it good. Da, da, na, na, na. Push it real good. Da, da, na, na, na. It's taking forever. Oh my God, I'm tired. Can you finish already? Oh. <laughs> the pump. We're all used to hearing it. <laughs> I'm done. Can you stop? I'm finished. I'm already done. I want to go. I want to lay down and go to sleep already. Can you hurry? <laughs> This is taking forever. My arms hurt. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me read the instructions. Hold on, let me read the instructions. I'm supposed to have a top. Where's the top at? Nope. The freaking top. Me too. Okay, hold on, guys. Give me a second. It says, you must cut and remove the foil. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. And then it says, align the needle the top of the cork and gently press down until the needle is fully submerged. Oh, snap. I fucked that up already. Am I supposed to do that with this? Oh, oh I'm supposed to do it with this. And then, you pump it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nothing's happening. Pump it. Grass while pumping. The cork will begin to rise. And then it should pop up. Give it to me. Come on. Yes. Nothing's happening. Done. It's over. I get, your <laughs> get my corkscrew. Imagine getting all that done with this. <laughs> doing all that with this makeup. Thanks, baby. 
It was good. Was it good for you? It was good for me. It was bad for me, actually. Good, 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 good. I think I got to do it like, I don't know. So we all know that sucks. But this is a good old fashioned. This is a, y'all know the good old fashioned one, right? You go like this. And it looks like the arms are raising. You're like, put your hands up. And it raises its hands up. And then you say, boom. You push these down and boom, it's open. Much easier. I didn't have to degrade myself on YouTube. <laughs> I degraded myself. <laughs> and then you just kind of unscrew it out. And that's how you do wine. For those of you who don't know, I didn't know how to do wine. Remember, I told you. Yeah, right. It's what it looks like. It looks like they're, it's putting its. It looks like a little person. It looks like it's putting its hands up, and then you push their hands down to arrest them. <laughs> I told you I always thought that the this cork went in. I didn't know it was always supposed to come out. <laughs> All right, this is um, oak leaf vineyard Pinot Grigio from. Columbard. It has 200 medals. And then you just kind of put, you um, you turn the cork upside down and it you can fit it back on the, the, the lid again. Yeah, that's, what you, that's how you're supposed to do. I mean, I'm probably going to finish this bottle. Let me do my makeup. Oh my God, the people that are here for the makeup, I bet they're pissed. Oh, I'm going to do my edges. I don't know. If you don't know and you're new here and this is the first live, I really don't get nothing. I don't do anything productive. I talk a lot of shit. I drink and if someone comes and bothers me, I probably go off on you and then I have to erase the live. <laughs> Michaela's seen it before. <laughs> okay, moving on. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, get away from me. Here we go. So, um, <laughs> all right. Oh, K K Bridge has seen it too. So I found this. Um, I don't know if it's going to work for me, but we'll see. Let's check it out. I think I'm. It's dark. Let me see how dark it is. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh, I forgot concealer. All right, concealer. I'll just use a Juvia's because it's right here. I'm getting sweaty already. Some people do this, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to see what it looks like. I saw a wet and wild blush in bronzer. OMG, at Walgreens, you know what I saw? A Real Techniques um, Triangle Concealer Brush for $6. Normally eight something, I think. I, I want a triangle concealer brush. I know, but it's online only. I don't know why I said anything. Now y'all all gonna buy them out and I'm, they're gonna be sold out. Damn it. <laughs> Lala, note to self, keep shit to yourself. <laughs> it's all right. I'm probably not gonna get it because I spent my amount on my, my budget, my makeup budget amount already on Friday. It's already spent, y'all. All right. Right. 
I'm gonna get that in my hairline. Mm, we'll see, girl. We'll see. I still, I don't know. Oh my queen just bought a haul. She hauled at a garage sale like a hundred snowmen. <laughs> that girl crazy. But when you got kids, you know, you do those things for your kids, so I get it. You do it for your kids, but you also do it for the kid that's in you. Don't ever let that kid die, girl. Always keep that kid alive. Or you're gonna be boring. You know what? I don't even I I don't really have real technique brushes. I think I have a couple. I don't have like, I don't, I just go for what works. All right, and then I'm just gonna use what's on my sponge to contour my nose. Okay, now we can do the powder. And I'm gonna just do that on around my face. Cause I think it's too dark for like my highlighted area. And I don't even know if this is the one Lori picked up, to be honest with you. All right. For powder, I'm gonna do airspun because it's an oldie but goodie. And everyone can uh everyone, I feel like everyone has this or has tried this. Damn, that shit's powdery. But you can get it at like um at a at a Walmart or or any grocery store. Really, it made me so happy to see Emiliano play. Oh, that's so cute. getting hot under these lights. Oh, real technique brushes? I don't have a 99 cent on a store. Stop telling me. I hate hearing it because I get so jealous. I feel like I'm being left out. Yes, I'm a big baby. If you don't know already, then you should know. <laughs> Uh, shut up! I don't want to hear it. <laughs> You're my fifth baby. I'm so envious. All right. You don't have one either. Oh, you know what really makes me mad is um, it don't make me mad, but I be in my, I be like, I be jealous. Is when um, Lori gets deals because did y'all know that you just got a five below did y'all know that um bath and body works has a rewards members program and only um certain states like up north like northeast um they only get it i've actually talked to because she has said Oh, you know, I got this rewards program, and if you you buy this much, you get this much off or whatever. And I'm all like, I was like a rewards program. So I went to go look, and I couldn't find it for Texas. So I called them personally, called them, and I was like, How come? <laughs> I said my friend in South Carolina gets a rewards program. Where's the rewards program for Texas? And uh, they were like. Oh, ma'am, it's just in selected areas. We're just trying it out. I was like, well, how long have y'all been trying it out? I was so mad. <laughs> and they were like, ma'am, um, 
it should be coming soon. We're just kind of waiting to see if people like it. I'm like, of course people like it. How come I see people on YouTube showing off everything and I'm not getting none of it? <laughs> and then she was all like, we're sorry, ma'am. And I'm all like, I kissed my ass. I didn't do that. But I was like basically saying that. <laughs> Yes, I need to get my shit together too. It's not fair. Trying to make this fat face look slimmy. <laughs> Can't tell us what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> but when I smile, they just get so big. What abs? What are you doing? Taking their vinegar dishes and everything, everything. Shh. <laughs> Don't tell no one that there was dishes in the sink. I'm gonna tell everybody my business. You're okay. No. But I was, you could have said, like, nothing, baby. You're all no, like, nothing. telling everybody the shit that I didn't do today. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. This is Anastasia. I, ha I still haven't hit pan. Okay. Moving on. Almost. Let me put some contour on here. <laughs> All right, <laughs> what are we doing next? Oh, under the eye, what do I do for under the eye? I don't know. We're just gonna grab the pink, I guess. <laughs> Yikes. This is just the brush that I used and uh, it's too big. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bigger brush to blend it out. I'm gonna bust out with that yellow and I'm gonna use this side of the brush. Thank you. You like it? Thank you. Let me use this. Uh, I'm not gonna use that. Fuck it. I'm gonna get the yellow. Or you know what? I think I'm gonna get this the Supreme. It's like a terracotta color. I'm not doing nothing for Halloween, girl. Uh, we don't give candy out because nobody comes. What are you doing? I'm gonna hit that yellow with the, that big brush. No, I turned my light off. No one coming to my door. No, they don't toilet paper my house. The kids stop coming through here. A costume party? Yeah, I don't leave my, yeah. Well, no, no, girl. Because mm -mm. every year, Raul and I would go outside. Every year we would be outside. Raul would do something to scare the kids. 
And we did that last year. We were sitting outside. We had a big bowl of candy. Raul had his costume on. I was sitting there with the light on. And some dick. Some stupid dick. The neighbor. Um, why do I whisper the neighbor? He came. He had like a Jason mask on. And, and, and it was just them that came to our door. And he stuck his hands like this inside the bowl of candy. Picked it up and took all the candy. I was like, what the fuck? And then, um, I was like, Raul. Raul was paying attention to the kids. And then, and then they were the only people that came. So disrespectful, but. Anyway. I was like, what the fuck? And I looked at him ugly. And then I looked at Rue, and he was like playing with the kids. So like. Hello? We're getting assaulted. My 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 bowl of candy is getting assaulted. I was just, I'm putting yellow under kind of like faded out a little bit like an ombre. So anyways, um so then we I was like, let's go inside. I don't want to be around these losers. I requested the day off from work, but we don't do much. My son is big boy now. Yeah, big kids don't. Yeah, they think that's too little. He probably wants to just go out with his friends. He don't want his mama to follow, probably. Okay. Now it's time for... What lipstick do I wear? Uh, hi, Stacy. Yeah, the people be rude, girl. They just be hella freaking. <gasps> I have these neon. Look. Let's go through the neon eyeliners. Bad, 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 bad. Give me 50 of these. Ombre lip. Okay. Ombre lip. Okay, girl. I got you, boo boo. You got to figure that out. Baby, it's hot in here. Hold on, baby. A bitch hot. I'm gonna see the baby. Hot stuff. No. <laughs> um, okay. These are the neon colored eyeliners we have. Get that one. These are the colors we got. Baby, please, I'm hot. Oh, come on, please. Oh. <laughs> uh, the fan. I want the fan. Okay. Oh, I got fancy, but I need I still need a fan. Going through menopause. Do you know what that is? My insides are being destroyed by my own, by my hormones. Right there. Here, baby. We're plugging. Right here, baby. Okay. Thank you. I used to have a tabletop fan. I don't know where it's at though. Yeah, right there, babe. On low. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you so much. Meet. Okay. The look. The look. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna go for. I think I'm gonna do. Should we do a color that's like not on here, like a green or a blue? But this one looks so pretty. Let's see. We're gonna bring you close. Lizzie. I don't know about that one. Orange. They're called Moon. I got them on Amazon. Mm. 
that could go. You think this color? Y'all let me know which one y'all think. The yellow one, you think? Ooh. Ooh. The yellow? Anyone else have a boat? Ooh, look at the green. I don't know if there's their um night like um glow in the dark. Let me see. The yellow. Okay, we gotta go for yellow. That was the only boat we got, so what we're we gonna do. Should I do something like up here or just, let me see. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't like the way that it's applying though. Hold on, let me get my fan so I can dry this out. Cause I don't want to. too thick because it's going to take over the look. Well, you should have said something. You never said nothing. I was asking people for advice and you never said pink. I'm going to trace it with the black. See what it do. Looks shitty as fuck. 
And that's how you fuck up a look. It didn't show up on here, and it didn't. It didn't show up when y'all were saying colors. It didn't show up. Oh man. This is a fucked up, stupid look, and it could suck my dick. Ew. Ew. I don't like that. That color didn't look good with it. Ew. No, it wasn't. Mm -mm. I didn't think it was cute. I didn't like it. I don't know. I just don't like the look in general. You know what I can do, though? You know what I can do? This is what I can do. Why don't we do this? Do I have, I think I have all the colors. We could do this. I think I'm gonna fuck up the look. You know what, at this point, I don't care less. What about this? How do I feel about this? How do I like this one? It's purple looking pink, but it's purple. Does that make it look any better? Am I saving it though? They have these neons, y'all. They have these neons in um in mascara too, girl. The purple looks pink, but that's okay. I hate this look, like for real, like no, no joke. I hate it. Um, for the whole thing, I think twenty-two bucks. So I got all the colors y'all suggested: pink, purple, and yellow. I got y'all on there. How about that? <laughs> I'm over this look. Fuck my life. ¿Qué pasó, pa? All right, we got these colors for bright pinks. Now, someone mentioned an ombre. So, I'm going to do an ombre. I think I'm going to go for um, this Sephora pink with a purple. Uh. 
And I have this purple from um, Lip Paint. Oh, it's Lip Paint. I don't know what the brand is, so mm, let's just see what happens. So I'm going to do purple on the outside, pink on the inside. Ooh, that's pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that, uh, should we put some kind of yellow here? I'm gonna need a lot of liquor for this one. All right, let me. <laughs> Which one? I think I want to do these because I haven't done them yet. Like I would need liquor to to like fuck this face. You know what I'm saying? Like I would like need a lot of like. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, ma'am. Hi, hi, uh, Miss Watkins. Excuse my language, I apologize. But these are the ones I want to use because I've never used them before and I'm interested in trying them. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Mm. Man, I hope Raul does not want me to go get tacos with him. What's EDC mean? Like this? Dan wants tacos. I want a torta. A torta. A torta is basically a sandwich, but it's um, it's like a a big piece of French bread, I guess it would be or bolillo, and then it has beans, um, ham beef like chopped up beef like bistec it's called bistec avocados lettuce tomato mayo it's really good and then it's like an press in a panini where we go they press it so good and then we eat it with green salsa yes i showed it on instagram but some people don't follow me on instagram so i'm letting them know <laughs> oh look i'm gonna put mascara on Michaela, how are you feeling about this look? I trust your opinion. Electric Carnival? Man. I think I pissed some people off. I, I seem to piss a lot of people off on my lives. 
Some people can't take my boldness. I'm too blunt. Even my family was like, you're too blunt. You, I can't, I can't, I can't with you right now. They'd be telling me, I can't help it. I'm just like that. I'm just like that. So sorry. If I hurt your feelings, I apologize. All right, here we go. I need bottom lashes. I I don't know if I. <laughs> no, they're not haters. It's just they can't handle my bluntness. They're not hating. I just hurt their feelings, and I apologize if I hurt anyone's feelings. That's not my intention. In my intention at all. I just I just say what I mean. I mean what I say. I guess I don't know. All right. Um. But uh. Yeah, I like Dan. He's like, I like Dan. He's really helpful. Hi, Dan. Oh, I ordered some from AliExpress. Bottom lashes. I ordered them. This is like the look that I, that I just not, I can't, I can't, not with this one, I can't, I'm not feeling it, I don't like it at all. Oh, you know what I need, I need some kind of eyeliner maybe, for the bottom. It's still not coming to me, I just can't, I can't with this one. It's embarrassing me. This is a purple. This one's all crooked, y'all. I always end up doing one crooked. I didn't bring it in far enough, maybe. I don't know. Highlight, maybe? I love it. I always have one wonky eyelash too. Wet and wild. I don't think you deleted anyone's message. More wine. Instagram pictures? <sighs> Y'all really try to embarrass me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do some um, bottom lashes. That's what I was saying. I, uh, AliExpress, I ordered bottom lashes. But they're, I'm waiting on them. I do have an AliExpress haul. Like, I have some products right now, but I'm going to save them for a video. Um, but I know. Can we? Uh. I think these earrings will go well with them. Oh, these earrings. I need a different shirt, right? What do I think? 
These or these? Which ones? Stars? Okay, stars. This. No? No stars? What? Stars? Okay, I trust y'all. I trust y'all judgment. <laughs> Let me get into character. Titty bopper. Titty bopper character. Oh. I put this on too. Hold on, give me a second. No, yes, maybe so. Stars, I got the stars, girl. I got the stars. My son was getting picked up by his papa. The star, yeah, I got the stars, girl. I got the stars. I got you, boo boo. Is this too, like, um. You think I saved it? Like a 1980s bopper. What's a 1980s song? I'm trying to think. I can't think of a, a, a boppy. Oh, do the locomotion. Come on, baby. Do the locomotion. Now everybody's doing a brand new dance now. Come on, baby. Do the locomotion. I need a different shirt. The Notorious shirt. Notorious. Okay, I'm getting into it now. <laughs> this, this, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Let me drink more wine. <laughs> Let me drink more wine. Eighties. If I was wanting to go eighties, I should have did my blush super high, cause that's eighties. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Okay, time for more wine. Let's talk about this mother, um, Mr. Mills. <laughs> How are we going to get him? Mm. Who's that? Beauty. Hi, Beauty. Bye, Allie94. How are you? Thank you. It was a struggle. <laughs> it was a struggle. Ro was in the bathroom, so I don't want to go get my my t-shirt that I need. But yeah, we're probably gonna all get some. Some um, I feel like I forgot something. Like there's something missing. I just don't remember what. I can't believe that pump didn't work. I gotta just, like sit down and read the directions because that's not cool. Hi, Madeline. How are you? Madeline rarely gets to catch me live. This is her second live, I think. Maybe more. Um, I'm drinking. What am I drinking? I'm drinking Oak Leaf. Vi Oak Leaf Vineyards Pinot Grigio Columbard. What does that even mean? I don't know, but it says 200 medals won because it's so good, I guess. It's pretty, let me tell you something. It's pretty dry. Pinot Grigio is really dry wine, but this is not as dry as some. Let me tell you. Who else drinks this kind of wine? What are y'all drinking right now? What are y'all doing tonight? Why are y'all here watching me? What's going on in y'all life? Not to say that I want you to go. I'm just, ask I'm just asking and being nosy. I need y'all to talk back to me. 
Hi, Emiliano. Diet A and W. Okay. Oh, you don't want to drink and drive? Yeah, I don't. I don't drive. Right, we will drive if we go anywhere. Yeah, I'm a strict. I don't like that. Hi, camp. Why is there, why is there what? Moscato? Moscato is good, but it doesn't get me drunk. That's the problem between me and Moscato. Are you drinking red or white, Michaela? Hi, Maria. Hi, boo-boo. I can't believe this crap. What a letdown. They will be hearing from my attorney. I want y'all to know. He got shy and ways back. Oh, he's so cute. If y'all haven't seen Queen's son, he is so adorable. So cute. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Queen has a channel. Michaela has a channel. Bridget definitely has a channel. Um... Miss Hopkins has a channel. You, the colored one. Excuse me? We don't mess with racists around here. What do racists get from here, y'all? What do... We don't like racists here. These lashes... They're huge! Mimi's laying down. I'm entertaining Mimi. Mimi does lie. Oh, Mimi has a channel. She does lives as well. I like to watch her lives because um, she is um, relatable. I think you should try Moscato. If you're going to try anything, start off with Moscato. I only started drinking um, Pinot Grigio because I, I used it in a recipe and I had a whole bottle, a, a bottle left basically. And I was like, like, I don't want to, you know me, I don't let shit go to waste. So I was like, so I was like, um, let's drink this. And uh, at first, it's, it's a dry, a very dry wine. Um, but also, um, I used to, I used to do tipsy lives with alcohol, but then someone... Tennessee moonshine. Shut up. Oh my god. I've never tried moonshine. Moscato is like sweet and really, really tasty. There's like you can't taste the wine. I cannot stand red wine. Um, but I used to drink liquor and I did tipsy live, and then um some haters, like a group of haters, were saying that I was classless because I didn't drink wine. Cause she's like, go drink, go, um, go back to your line and drink, um, be a drunk or something. But the whole time this bitch was drinking wine. So I was like, okay, should I be classy like you bitch and drink wine and still end up looking like a fucking drunk? Shut up. Don't judge. So I started, <laughs> I was like, let me be classy like this bitch and drink wine. So she has nothing to say. <laughs> Um, you don't want a headache? Okay, I don't know what it is, but my body be hurting. Cause I don't know, I have thyroid issues, I have diabetes, and maybe, I think someone told me it could be the wine that's messing with my bones. So the day after, my bones always hurt. So I'm really pacing it. If you think about it, look, I'm pacing. I'm like pacing. I ain't buzzed yet. I ain't cussed nobody out yet. Right? Right? <laughs> Moonshine? Nips? What's nips? Yeah, I used to drink Moscato. I used, I used to drink a night train. My nephew the other day, he was like, Lala, give me some money. I was like, for what? He goes, for some night train. I'm like... Oh, yeah, I don't learn my lesson, Bridget. I really <laughs> I really don't learn my lesson. 
Oh, okay. Go, well, yeah. Try, yeah, some Moscato. Yeah, that'd be good. Good. You could drink with me. Um, I don't look. Let me tell you something. I don't have friends. If you can't believe it or not, <laughs> I'm sure y'all can believe that I don't have friends. Um, no one can handle Lala bad. I think that's the problem. I don't know. I just don't trust nobody. Like I don't have friends. So um, I don't know. I've never been like. You know what? Let me. Can I just say something? Can we talk about friendship? <sighs> I used to be, let me tell you the kind of friend I am. I'm the kind of friend that is a ride or die. Like, you could be wrong and you could say some fucked up shit and I will, I will like be behind you and I will be on your team, right? But, and so like, if a friend that like, calls me is like, Lala, okay, queen, come with it, girl. If someone calls me like Lala, I'm in the hospital. I need a ride. I need, I need a ride to the hospital. I will drop everything, including spending time with my man. Um, I will do that for a friend. But I always end up being friends with people that won't do that for me. Like I will. What is it? I will. I will. Um, I will go far and beyond for a friend, but I, I always pick people that don't do that for me. And I don't know what it is that I attract those kind of... I'm a Sagittarius. Three women in my life, so I gave okay. up all friends. I'm, I'm sad about it. Oh, Maria. What, baby? I'm ready. Oh. Um, Would you say you'll do that way for me? Mm -hmm. No, you can go get the tacos and bring, them, bring me some tacos. You want a torta? I want a torta. Okay. I'm going to give me a torta and go to me. Oh, orale. I'm, I'm making money for mañana. I got $10. I need cash. Okay, babe. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't see what y'all said. I apologize. Exactly right. I hear you on that. Yeah. Um, and I always tend to pick. For, okay. Well, cause let me tell you something. Um, I don't know why I attract them. Right. But this was before when I didn't have confidence or self. What's it called? Um, I didn't love myself. My husband always be telling me I need real friends. I'm like, YouTube. Okay, is there a reason why YouTube friends are... Okay, but there's... Girl, let me tell you. I don't know. I don't know. Self-esteem or it's called... Uh, so there's another word for it. I forget the word. I don't know. Um, but it's like self-esteem. I didn't value myself. You know, I thought that, I always thought I deserved those kinds of friends. And, um, I, now I kind of go through, like, and they ain't about that. Yeah. Now I'm really choosy. Like, I have acquaintance, acquaintances, uh, YouTube acquaintances. Because I've learned. I've been on YouTube for a minute. And I have been through some friendships, y'all. And a lot of the time, I feel like YouTube friends are always... They're trying to one-up you for YouTube. For a 50-year-old with three kids, it's hard to make friends my age. Yeah, I, I see that. I know. I, I feel that, Maria. Um, Real life friends, I feel like they use me and abuse me. And whenever I need something, they're not there for me. And Lala's business ain't the business to be in. Um, YouTube friends, you have people that, uh, they, they say they're your friends. But they talk about your channel. Like, compare themselves to you. And they just trying to one-up you. And then you have YouTube friends that are subscribers. And... Those were the, I have, I mean, they have nothing to gain, I feel like, really. So, but I don't know. They also, they kind of do because some of them kind of put me off because the things they say, I don't know. I'm just really picky. I think I'm really picky. Now, I don't really let, like, I don't let a lot of people in. I have, like, really three good friends that I trust. Yeah, like I want to have those nights. 
me though that have helped me to stay in my home. Oh, oh no. I don't let no one stay in my house. It's just that. It's just about when I started dating my boyfriend, right? Some of my friends and family started hating on my relationship. Why? Or they said they don't him even when they huh? met him yet. I don't know. Because I feel like, okay, because I've always been the fat girl. I've always been the fat girl. I have since, I don't know if y'all saw pictures, but I was always chubby. I've always been the fat girl. And I feel like people become my friends, right? And you, it's rare. Let's, let's be honest. It is rare to see a big girl that has confidence. Can we all agree on that? I was used so much in my life. I literally let them laugh in my face. They stole from me, but now I'm so strong. Yes, it takes time to be strong, though. And I feel like, I feel like I'm not even tooting my own horn because I feel bad about myself. I didn't finally get confident about, I, I didn't get confident about myself until I was like in my 30s. And I finally started getting confidence and I started like fixing myself up and making my, myself, not for anybody, but for myself. Where I could look in the mirror, like right now I can look in the mirror and even with the makeup that I don't like, I could still say, damn, I could find something pretty about me. And I can say it to myself, damn, like you look good, girl. And a lot of females cannot deal with when you have confidence. When you're a big girl like me and you walking around and my man's over here like touching on me like baby you're so pretty like they can't stand that shit a lot of girls can't stand it so what they'll do is since they see big girl confident they see my man all up on me you know what they'll start doing they'll start showing cheek cheese They'll start popping out their ass in front of my man. They be really disrespectful. And they try to get attention because my man's attention's over here on me. And so they don't like the confidence. They just wanna they wanna kind of knock me down a notch. And thank you, Queen. And so they try to do these little nasty things, you know, be just because that's all they got. All they got is is what to show your ass and tits. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happens when I have friends in the in the in real life. So then I have to let a lot of people go because you're not going to do that to me. Um, even though my man is not interested in that shit and I trust him, but you're not going to try and disrespect me. Like you, you look stupid. You know, people that do that shit, they don't know how dumb they look. You look dumb. You look desperate and it's, it's kind of gross. It makes you look really dumb. So I stopped talking to those kind of girls. <laughs> Fucking bad. <laughs> Yeah, so, girl, you don't know how much, girl, anyway, um, but you know, YouTube friends too, you gotta be careful, cause they say they're your friend, and then, you know, they're talking behind your back, they're telling your secrets, so I don't know. This is what I believe. If they ain't benefiting you in any way, shape, or form, then they don't need to be getting none of your time. They don't need to be getting none of your advice, any of your saying. They don't they don't need it. They don't need you don't need them in your life. So right now, look at the group of people you're talking to. <laughs> Let's do it together. Are they doing anything for you? Are they pumping up your confidence? Are they um listening to your problems when you got them do they talk only about themselves um do they feed your kids do they do they do anything for you girl 
if nobody's benefiting your life, like if they're not like, you know, even if it's something as little as saying, damn girl, that look today you did was bomb. And if they're not um, saying, hey, how are you? How's your husband? If they're not asking those types of questions, then what the fuck is they in your life for? As grown women, we gotta ask these questions. Do I really need you in, in, my, in my life? Are you benefiting my life? Are you making me grow as a human? Or are you make, helping my soul be good? Are you making me, you know, live a, a, a nice, peaceful life? Are you giving me drama? That's what you gotta ask. Thank you. I think it, I think, I think that we gotta ask, we gotta kind of, um, we gotta ask these questions to ourselves, you know? See what happens if you stop, you know, when they call, you don't answer. They need you. They're gonna survive, they're, they're, fuck, they're gonna survive. You know, if you think that you run into them and kissing, like doing everything for them, if you think that's gonna benefit you in some way, then do it, boo-boo. Um, but if you, if you know that they're going to survive without you, then is there a reason for you to pick up that phone or answer that text back? I don't know. Evaluate. Check them motherfuckers. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is what I, t I was telling this to Lori. I'm like, yo, I know if I did time, like if I did like solitary confinement, if I was thrown in the hole, I totally could entertain myself. <laughs> I could totally talk to myself and make myself laugh because I do it all the time. If you, if you can't like spend time with yourself and be okay, then... What is you doing, bitch? <laughs> what is you doing? What? What did she do? Girl, let it let it out. Let it out, girl. Tell us what have happened. Tell us what have happened. Let's talk about this bitch. <laughs> oh, girl. I don't know. There's just, I don't know. My girl, my cousin, let me tell you, my cousin, she brought her man over here. And he was a new, he's a, her new boyfriend. And uh, they were saying, oh yeah, I had to warn him about, she goes, I had to warn him about you. I was like, what do you mean? She goes, I had to tell him, um, you know, that n not to take anything you say by, like, like, don't be offended because she just kind of blunt, but she doesn't mean no harm. She's always trying to be funny, right? And then I go, oh, and then she, I go, what else did you tell her, tell him? She goes, I told him, don't ever disrespect, look at Raul funny, disrespect him, make fun of him because she will kill you. I was like, yup. <laughs> My man is off limits. I don't care. Cause I don't, I don't have nobody but him. I don't have kids. I don't have family. I have family, but they're, they ain't shit. Um, and I'm saying that right here in front of everybody. They ain't shit. Okay, bye. Have a good night. Be careful. Love you. Thank you. But, yeah. Mm -mm. Not my man. That's not, mm -mm. Yes, off limits. You could, you could, you could, you could even kick my dog. You can kick my dog. You could talk about my fucking makeup. You could even steal my makeup, but you not my man. Mm -mm. All right. Oh, I thought you were leaving. Whew. Trying to put all my makeup back up slowly but surely while I'm sipping. I'm waiting on my torta. <laughs> my torta. Make y'all all hungry in a minute.
Thank you. This is a really nice palette. My thoughts on this palette was I got a deal for $31.50. The colors are beautiful, blendable, and uh, there is kickback and all that other shit, but I don't care about that. That don't mean nothing to me. I never hit pan on palettes anyway because I have so many. I use different ones. I've never, I've never hit pan on an eyeshadow palette. Cheers! Me and Queen want to go live together. We just don't know how to do it. I think she needs a computer. She told me before she even met him that she doesn't like him and he wasn't going to lie. Ew. Oh, I'm going to tell y'all this right now. Right now. Instagram, StreamYard. Yeah, Instagram. We've done Instagram before. Let me tell y'all something about Rue. Okay, and my mama. My mama did not like Rue. Mm -mm. She thought he was too old. She thought he was too old. When she shook his hand, she went like this to him. She didn't even, he put his hand out to shake her hand. And she went like this. She was like looking at him like this. And she shook it like this. She told him, she goes, Lala, you are too young. She goes, do not settle for this man. I was like, I like him a lot. She's like, don't do it. She did not like him. Your mama never liked your boyfriend's cheating like Dan? Dan's a good guy. I don't know how she didn't like him. But she, ma'am, she did not like him. And, she, and, and I was all like, but he, I was like, he's so nice. I could just tell by his eyes he was kind. There are some men, if you look in their eyes, you could just see the devil or you can see an angel. I always saw an angel. Yeah, I love my dogs. I love my dogs. I go by their eyes. You can tell when a man ain't shit. I feel like we all know when a man ain't shit, but we don't listen to it. He's 46 and I'm 38. 38, they're 9, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Yeah, we're eight years apart. I'm going to be 39. <gasps> I'm going to be 39. My family didn't like Tony either. I was married when I met him, though. And then my ex-husband and I split up, and Tony and I started talking more. Ooh, juicy. <laughs> Let's hear more. Really? We worked together in the same department at work, so we were good friends. Oh, okay, yeah, we're friends. Yeah, we're eight years apart. I don't feel like that's that's a long time. But my mom was like... Because this is what had happened. I had just got a job. I had just um, got my first apartment. I was the first female in my whole family to get my own apartment. How you figure that you don't know him and why would I take advice from you? I haven't been in a relationship in years. Girl, she's hating on you. You're seven years apart. Yeah, see? Um, that... Your homegirl's hating on you. You know why? Because you probably got a good man. But if he ain't shit, girl, you got to question that too. Like, if he, if he, is he shit or he's not shit? <laughs> like, okay, so can you be, okay, can you be yourself in front of him and he, and you're comfortable? Like, can you fart? Can you be, you know, ghetto can you um fully take your clothes off in front of him and stand in front of him like can you like be yourself because if you can't if you feel like you have to be different in front of him or like when people come over you got to act a certain way around him girl he ain't shit if you, you got to do that he's a good man she's jealous she needs to shut up she needs to go on with that shit Girl, quit her. That's what you need to quit. Because let me tell you, a good, uh, a homegirl will see what you see. My mom didn't like her, my boyfriend, but she damn so like, but be up under my husband shaking my head. I seen your, I seen your mama kiss your, your husband's hand. To me, it looked like she liked him. 
if your friends don't got your like if they don't see what you see in your man then like now i'm not talking about like she want to hump him or something but like she gotta see the good in him and if she's just hating the hate but see i don't know because the girlfriend will tell you i don't know girl i gotta meet your man let's put him on camera I'll tell you, girl, I can tell when a man's a good man or not. Put him on camera. Let me see his ass. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, man. I hope y'all know this. Y'all not really like. <laughs> that torta sure is taking a long time. My man, camera shy. I want to do a tag with him. You should. He's so cute. What are you talking about? Tell him to get on camera. I really do want to know all y'all business. To be cool, I want to know all y'all business. So whoever can get on camera with a man. Why a lot of women? Why a lot of women don't don't get on camera with a man? <laughs> I know. Is he making the torta? Eleven years. Who's older? Who chow? Could I be with someone that's 11 years younger than me though? I got off the phone with her because he wanted me to about. Girl, get rid of her. She sounds like a loser anyway. Who got time to talk all day? <laughs> I'll be messaging Queen all the time and she'd be like, bitch, I got shit to do. I got time, girl. I ain't got kids. I got time today. <laughs> she laughed on the way off the phone. Girl. I wake up in the morning looking like Don King, and my husband will still tell me I look. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what Raul does? He likes to smell my in the morning. Girl, get rid of her. Get rid of her. Girl, in the morning. Um, you know you got your spit. You know I don't. Know, I don't know about y'all, but like you know you got your bad breath and stuff. Raul smells my face, and I'll be like, stop. He's like. <laughs> Before he leaves, he starts to smell my face. He goes, baby, I love your smell. I'm like, ugh, someone can fucking do that shit. You know he loves me. He even ate a booger. I made him eat a booger once. <laughs> I was like, if you love me, you'll eat this booger. And he's like, Pfft. he ate it real fast. That's love. <laughs> if your man don't eat your booger, throw him away. <laughs> I always test him. <laughs> your mom wants to live your life? Girl, what's her problem? Let's talk with Mimi now. What's going on, Mimi? What happened? What do you mean she wants to live your life? Okay, we got it. Let's talk to Mimi, everybody. What you mean? Let's get in this, girl. What happened? You have to test them a bit because then they get all loose, goose, loose and goosey. Yeah, girl, you got to test them. If you love me, you got to do this. He sits in the bathroom with me if I'm t taking a poop or nothing to talk about. Girl, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, okay? Y'all going to get the tea. When I weigh like 400 pounds, bigger than this, um, I couldn't clean myself. Guess who did that? 
So I know that's love. Now, that was, let me see, in like 2000, 2007? Yeah, 2007. Mm-hmm. That's real talk. Man, don't clean your ass. He don't love you. Throw him away. Yeah, he's been, we've been through some shit. Yeah, we've been through some shit. Because eventually, he's going to have to... Now, I'm already just thinking about this right now. He's 46 years old, so he's going to be in a pamper before I'm going to be in a pamper, right? Now, will I clean his ass is a good question. I told him no. I was going to throw his ass in a nursing home. <laughs> I'm hiring a home health aide. I am not cleaning that ass. No. No, I will. I would if I had to. But if I got the money not to, I wouldn't. <laughs> Lies. I don't know. I turn into a nurse whenever he's sick. I get nurse mode and I already get my first aid kit out. And I'm like, maybe do this, do that. And I'm wiping him down and doing this and that. So, yeah. I probably will wipe his ass. I don't want to, though. This look needs like some eyelashes right here. Like for real, for real. You won't want to another woman touching your that's true though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like even like if I see like a cousin of his hug him, that's a girl, I'd be like, this bitch. Be like, <laughs> that's for real. Oh, that's for real. For I'll be like, girl, get away from him. <laughs> even though, even though, even a cousin, jealous. I'm not. No, no. Mm -mm. It's not jealousy. It's like I just don't want no one touching him. That's a female. I don't want no one. That's mine. I'm very possessive. I would say it's possessiveness more than jealousy. I ain't jealous of her. She ain't, girl, she don't look like this. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, just like, I don't know. I never like to, I never like to share my toys. I'll share food and water and shelter, but I'm not going to share, like, my makeup. Like, bitch, no, like, I'll give you, I'll give you makeup, but you're not going to, like, share my lipstick, bitch. <laughs> possessive I'm very possessive and I you know what I'm very possessive with my friends as well I'm gonna tell you that right now if you're a close friend of mine and and, and you want to like if you're like oh yeah I talk to my homegirl I will be like oh that's cool because I want my friends to have friends but I kind of also would be like but we're still I'm still your best friend though right and then she'll tell me yeah we still best friend I'm like, okay that's cool as long as I'm number one. Do you know what I mean? That's real. I'm being honest with you. Yeah. And I expect my best friend to have my back no matter if I'm wrong. Just be like, I I'm with you, girl. I'm waiting on that Thor. <laughs> when the Thor tried to talk to him and I give him the coldest look, he started laughing. Oh, girl, stranger. A stranger talking to my man? Oh, hell no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember a time when I had to go off on a bitch. My throat that's here. <laughs> hey, baby. Got Raul got consomme. Consomme. It's cheap, cheaper. Chivo? Or? Hey, chivo. Chivo. Consume, chivo. Consume de chivo. Oh, Miss Hopkins. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm 
I'm gonna finish this. But I can appreciate. Oh, let me tell. Oh, here's a story. Here's a. Okay, here's a story for y'all. Okay, we're at Dollar Tree. This happened the last Dollar Tree I was at. We was at Dollar Tree. The first we were in Goodwill, right? And when we're in Goodwill, right? When we're anywhere, I'm not even lying. Yeah, I think that I don't know if that's a Hispanic thing, like. The other day, I told you the story about a girl calling Raul's phone, and people were like, "How come you just didn't assume that someone that he let Raul use a phone?" I don't know. I'm cutting penis off first, and then I ask questions after that. Like, that's that's. I think that's just Latina, though. Okay, here's the story. Okay, we were at Goodwill, and then I remember if y'all remember the vlog. We were, I don't know if I told you we were at Goodwill and and Dollar Tree, right? Okay, well, you're, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, okay, check this out. We were at Goodwill. Whenever we go somewhere, he's always, like, on top of me, like, he has his arms around me, like, over here, and we're walking together as one, and we're talking shit, and we're making each other laugh. And I'm talking to him, and when I'm talking to him, you know, because I'm looking at him in his eyes, and he's looking at me, but he's looking at something behind, like, he's like, like, He's looking at me, he's like this, but then he's like looking like that, right? So I turn around, and then there's this short Spanish lady. She was all like done up or whatever. So I was like, I was like, okay, whatever, right? You're moving back to Cali? Oh shit. So, um, but he was looking like, he was like looking at her like, he was looking at me, but he was looking at her like, what the fuck is she looking at? He was like looking at her like, you know, like that. So of course I turn around, I see who he was, what, what he was looking at, right? So then we started like doing something else in the goodwill, looking at shit, and she keeps following us, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch doing? Like it was, she was like, oh, get away, bitch! Like bad, bad, give me fifty feet. All right, so then we left there. We didn't find nothing at the goodwill. We went to the Dollar Tree next door. So we go in the Dollar Tree, right? And we're walking. Looking at shit, minding her own business, and this bitch comes, right? So when she comes, now tell me if, if I'm wrong. When you're married, when you're married, even if you're in a relationship, I, for me, I don't look at a man in his eyes. Because if you're single, the move to do, like to let someone else know you're interested, am I right or am I wrong? You look at them in their eyes. But there's a look. There is a look that you do. You do the look like, like a sultry, like, you look at them for a long time in their eyes, right? That's the, I wanna, uh, eyes, right? Am I wrong or am I right? Tell me that y'all have this look. Okay, y'all have this look too, right? When you were single, this is the look you gave to let them know, hey, I'm single. What's up, boo, right? Okay. So I know this look because I've been single, bitch. I done did this look myself. So when we're walking, and he's walking like behind me, right? And she's coming this way, and she's not even looking at me. She's looking at Raul, and she's doing that to him. She's doing that look. Yeah, I'm available. She's doing that fucking look. So I don't even look at her because I, I know what she's trying to do. I go look at Rue, and Raul's like putting his head down. Like he don't. I think he caught it on too. He put his head down, right? So I was all like, okay, he's trying to ignore this bitch. This bitch is persistent. She had a little a boy with him. So she's doing that, right? She did that. Okay, I was like, okay, whatever. I just keep walking, mind my business. I don't let it get to me. But I noticed it, right? So then we're walking. And what I do when I go to Dollar Tree, I go through every aisle. <laughs> We go through every aisle. Go through the I go through every aisle. And she pops up again. Now, she does it again. She comes forward. She's trying to look at him. She's like, she's like trying to look at him in his eyes. And I was like, real, get in front of me, babe. I was like, get in front of me. Because I want to see this bitch. Like, I want to see the balls on this bitch. Right? 
So I get behind real and, and, and I'm just kind of, I kind of stay back. I don't even, I don't even think I told him for anything. I just did it by myself. I went back and I'm noticing this bitch had the uh, fucking dacity to do it again. And our, and we went, and I think there was a, cause what I do, because I get vertigo, cause I can't do this, look like that, I can't do that. So what I do is I go down the whole aisle looking one way and then I come down the next aisle looking this way. This chick had already went down the aisle. She she went down the aisle twice on purpose. And she was looking at Rue again. She did it a fucking again. And I'm like, this fucking bitch. Like, she doesn't see, cause he's on, like I told you, he's on top of me. He's all like, baby, kiss. You never see the way he fucking is. He's on top of y'all. I'm, he's taken, bitch. And there she goes, looking at him again. And I, and when she passed me, I said, pinche puta. That means fucking whore, right? Yeah. I said, right. pinche puta. And her son heard it too. I didn't give a fuck. Her son heard it too, cause he turned, he turned. Girl, she goes, I think she turned around. And then, and I was walking, I was like, let bitch come up, bitch. Like, come up. She don't know. She don't know. This is what I'm saying. When do not fucking get balls. This is a smaller one. I'm like, don't get balls. You know, to do something like that. And then you like you don't know people like that. Don't do that. Girl. So we were at the register. And and I could feel, I could feel the I could feel energy. I could feel this. Like, there was someone right here. I was here. Someone was right here. She was right there. And I see Rue. Because he stands at the edge and he's, like, grabbing all the bags. The Dollar Tree. And I just feel someone staring. So I turn. It's that bitch again. Because I think she knew that she had already aggravated me. And so she was trying to be extra. And I was looking at Rue and I was all like... <sighs> Yeah, don't play with me. So I was looking at Rue and I was like, I was looking at him, I was like, ugh. You're not even like, I'm like, in my head, I'm saying, I'm not saying nothing to him. I'm just like, ugh. like looking at him like, ugh. like if she only knew, ugh. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this bitch ruin my day. So I was just like, I was like being extra with him. So I started hugging him, started kissing on him, and he was all right. <laughs> Rue was like taking advantage of it. But yeah, bitch, look at that. Look at my man. How much you love me, bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But it pissed me off. But who does that? I don't know. When I was young and dumb. Thank you. <laughs> when I was young and dumb. Yeah, I made those look. But if I saw a man. That had a girl. Girl, I would put my head down and I would turn away. There's nothing more disgusting than a man. There's nothing more disgusting than a man. That's holding on to his wife and making like F, F me eyes to another woman. That's disgusting. And I always feel bad. I used to, I was like, oh my God, look at this guy. He's over here looking at me. Fucking gross. Like, poor girl. I would never. I, that's one thing I will never do. I will never, ever mess with a married man. Never. I have respect for myself. Mm. Can't really see it. Mm-hmm. Michaela, I know you got respect for yourself, bro. Mm-mm. Because I've been cheated on. It does not feel good. I would never do that to a woman. Mmm, the chile.
Yeah, but I can't believe that woman. It made her look sad. I felt sorry for her. I was like, damn. Maybe that's all she thinks she's worth is a married man. Not her beef with herself. That's not a beef with me. That's a beef with herself. But she would have caught these hands and she would have kept on. Bro, would not get me out of there? <laughs> Oh, girl, make a torta. <laughs> I want to. My vlogging tripod, the one that I hold, it broke. So I got a new one. It should be here tomorrow. Okay, bye, Madeline. Have a good night. Love you, girl. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you. Showering noodles. What's that? Mmm. I won't be able to finish. It's too big. I, after I eat, I don't want to drink no more. Oh my God. Y'all. Yeah. Who watches Netflix? The Haunted. Who has watched The Haunted? <laughs> you watch the haunted oh my god oh my god it was scary we watched only okay Michaela on Netflix it's called the haunted it, this is me tell you what it's about it's basically real people Queen, no, you're gonna have to put the kids away. You're gonna have to get the whole, the Bible out, get some holy water near you. It's real people that have been through it. They basically tell the story and then, you know, actors reenact it. We only got to like the third one, I think. It was the third one, second or third one. And it's about a lady who worked at a nursing home before the uh, people with Alzheimer's, like old people. And this woman comes. And when she comes, she brings, like, the devil with her. <gasps> we were so scared. We were, like, sitting here, and I was like, babe, I was like, I don't want to watch this more, please. And he, he was like, me neither, babe, turn it off. And he was like, I want cereal. I was like, let's watch something funny. Let's watch The Office. So we had The Office on, and we were looking in our doorway. It was dark. And I was like, babe, I'm scared. He was like, I want, he goes, I want cereal. I was like, I'm not going to make that for you. He goes, let's go together. I was like, turn the light on. We were holding on to each other, walking to the kitchen. It was so scary. No? Girl. <laughs> mm. It's scary. Because it's true. The FCC is not scary. Mm -mm. Something about someone telling their story is more scarier. Okay. Even the picture for the show is scary. It's like a clown. I can't wait to see that one. Jeffrey Dahmer scares me. Jeffrey Dahmer, okay? Mm-hmm. Have y'all ever had anything like that happen or like people you know? Paranormal, I've never seen, let me tell you something. They say, okay, watch it, okay. They say, okay, the first one is kind of like we were, I was laughing at it because, okay, I'm gonna let you watch it. But the first one, let me know when you watch it so I can, I can, I can tell you the jokes I had on that one. The first one, it was funny, but... Okay, let me tell you something. My house is haunted. Let me tell you. Okay. I'm gonna, let me turn the camera around so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I 
I've never had experience. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you right here. Let me show you. Okay, you see right here, right? Right here. That hallway is haunted. Let me tell you why. Okay. My sister, my brother, my nephew, and Raul have seen a dark figure. They say, and my niece. They say it's a dark, tall figure, and it's dark, and it's big, and it just stands there and watches you in that hallway. But that hallway leads to my bedroom door, so every time I masturbate, I close the door because I don't want them watching me. Okay, let me tell you. One time, we're sitting here, right? The episode of a haunting where that lady gets possessed and drives her son to his aunt's house and stares at him the whole time. That Oh, that's scary. Okay, let me tell you what happened. Something bad had happened. Like, I don't know, Raul got arrested or something. So my family came to, you know, help me. At the time, I had my bed in here because I think... I had someone living over here, like, renting out the room. So I had my room in the living room. And then... Um, we're sitting here, and my sister looks up. We're talking, like, we're talking. Why don't want to on the chair? I'm on my bed. Sitting on my bed. And there's a lamp on, right? She starts looking at the hallway. So I'm talking. I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey. And she's like, get the fuck out of here. And I go... Huh? Nobody's standing right there in the hallway. She goes, she goes, I am of God and you will leave this house right now. Like screaming. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. She won't answer. I'm like, what's going on? She goes, I am not scared of you. Leave. So that happens. And I'm like, she's just standing there like, like, strong that was one thing about my sister she's like real like when shit goes down it goes down and she's what's she's what's up you know so she's like she's standing there just looking at the hallway i'm like what's going on she goes there's a demon in this house I'm like huh mind you raul is somewhere like in jail or some shit and i'm sitting here i'm like what <laughs> i'm like huh and she's like, well, I'm going to go. And I'm like, wait, wait, who did you tell to leave? Like, well, tell me the story. She goes, I see someone. She goes, someone, she goes, a figure. You didn't, she goes, you like, you didn't see it. I'm like, no, she goes, I saw a figure. She goes, it's wearing a hat. And it's black and it's, it's big. She goes, but he's gone now. I told him to leave. I'm like, <laughs> bitch. Okay, that happened. All right, so then my nephew... <laughs> For real, girl, but I'm just like, she just left. Everyone left me here by myself with my fucking demon. Like, he's supposed to have been gone. I guess he went to go get breakfast or some shit. All right, so then the next the next time someone saw something was my nephew. And we're having a party in here. And he was like, who's that? And I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, he's wearing a hat. Who is that? I'm like, what? And he's just looking. There's nobody there. Okay, there's another thing. One time, me and Rue were fighting. Rue came to the living room. We had a couch at that time. He's sleeping on the couch. And I'm in my room. And I have the door open. And I hear Rue going. Why are you going to stop fucking standing there like that? You don't scare me. He thought it was me. And I was all like. I was like, babe. He goes. He goes, where are you? He goes, Lala, where are you? I was like, I'm laying down. He goes. Who's that? He goes, who's that at the hallway? And I was like, I was looking and I didn't see nobody. I was like, the door? He goes, he goes, stop. He's like, stop, stop. And I was like, stop what? I'm not doing. He goes, I'm not, I was like, I'm not in the bed. And he, he walked to the room, saw me in the bed. So it was another time. So they, they say, I don't know. No one has ever told me that there was like someone that died in here and nobody lived here that long. So I don't know, but. Something going on in my house. Now I haven't had. You have you have ghosts. 
Miss Hopkins, you used to do the reading, right? You could hear them on your phone. I tried to do that, and it didn't work on my phone. Yeah, there's some, and so now when I get up, I, I, I want to see it. I want to see, but I don't see it. Oh, my brother said he saw it in a, in a mirror reflection. He saw the ghost. He said he, he, they all say the same thing. A, a thumb, it's like they say it's a man because he's tall and big and he has a hat and it's all black. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing here? Like, what does he want? Does he want a makeover? <laughs> he don't fuck with me. But, you know what? He can see it all. I walk around this house butt-ass naked. Maybe that's what scared him away. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna go hunt somewhere else where someone got a nice body. He's like, this girl masturbates too much. I wonder why in fall and winter months. Is it be too hot over here? Like it, they probably be, have more air conditioning in hell than they do in here in the in the living. <laughs> Girl, I want to see a ghost. I told y'all about the time with the flies, right? Do y'all remember the story about the flies we used to have? I think I told y'all. It, if I was a ghost, I would not be. I would not be in fucking Arizona. I'll tell you that. I'd be like in Colorado or Alaska. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, delicious. Thank you, my big love. Already forgotten my joke. Shut up. Are you okay? Tell you about Mexico going on in Mexico. Uh -huh. Have y'all heard about what's going on in Mexico? Oh, there's a drug war? Where's Colicon? Is it called Colicon? Where is that at? Uh, like a north, north, northwest. Like a, like a By the border? No. Northwest from Guanajuato? Yeah. Northwest from Guanajuato. Oh. Um, by the water? But yeah, that's up to Juarez. Oh, by Juarez? Yeah. Connected to Juarez. So now. Is your family safe? Yeah. We're perfect. Even Nacho? Yeah. President to the right choice. Hmm? President to the right choice. What is he doing? He released a guy. Oh! Mexico is at war because they arrested uh, Chapo's son. Cha El Chapo's son. Mm -hmm. And the drug people wanted him out. So the president. The president released him. Mm -hmm. Them gangs, they hold a lot of power, man. It's a, it's a rather safe, uh, but what's it like to keep one criminal prisoner? It says, failed operation to extract El Chapo's son. Yo. I would hate to be a president. Okay, bye, Destiny. I would hate to be a president of Mexico or any kind of political. 
I'm gonna just, you know, buy some land like way by the ocean in case someone comes. Oh no, but they can have boats too, right? That's some shit, man. I saw the, the if y'all go, if y'all go on Reddit, you can see, I guess you can see anywhere. Yeah. There's a movie about it? What's it called? El Chapo? What was a good uh, Mexican show we watched? Novela. Or not a novela. The one that we saw with that stupid girl. Oh, Camelia Tejana. What's it called? Camelia de Tejana. Camelia de Tejana. Or, yeah. Camelia de Tejana. Oh. Son of El Chapo was caught during a massive shootout. Mexican officials say they released him to save. Yeah, that's where we will say that the president released him to save the lives. Because they were, I guess, just killing people. Man, yeah, I don't understand that. Them. I don't understand. Like, why your own people? I don't, I will never understand that. But there are guest animals that talk. They're not human. Wait, she said, I could buy a Moldavite, Moldavite stone, and it'll bring ghosts if I want to see them. Do you want to see ghosts? Ghosts? Mm -hmm. Yes. You want to see a ghost? Where? No, you don't. Here in the house. Do you want to see that ghost you saw the other night? No. She didn't like that. <laughs> I don't think I would be scared. Really? <laughs> what can a goose ghost do to you? That's not, that's not about what they do. It's not what they represent. What do they represent? Dead. Death? Yeah, Death they, is around me regardless. So what? Yeah, what can yeah, you do they, to me? That means they, they don't got peace. And, the other side of the and they don't find peace here? Okay. Have they heard me screaming? Oh, yeah, Have you, you played that, right? with the Ouija board? No, I haven't. Oh, I swear for them about because they hear screaming. I was saying they probably saw me masturbate too much and they were like, oh, this bitch is nasty. We cannot hear. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this bitch nasty. Damn, this bitch can't stop. Damn, this bitch really love herself. <laughs> they were like, let's go hunt Miss Hopkins. <laughs> he got all embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? I have the homemade ones work too, but there are a list of rules. Rules? Girl, I don't follow rules. <laughs> Send me it though, girl. I'll tr I'll follow these rules, and I'll even put it on film. I'll videotape it. <laughs> For real, we're like, damn. That's why I got carpal tunnel. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Giving myself carp. They'll be like, how did you get carpal tunnel? The dog be like, how did you get carpal tunnel? I'll be like, uh. They're like, um, do you write a lot? No, bitch, I don't write essays. <laughs> <sighs> so pathetic. Anyway, I'm shiny. We're done with this look, right? We're done, all right? We're done, those. I am not taking pictures. These wipies are shit. I don't like them. I'll do this look another day and take pictures. I ain't gonna do it today. I don't feel like it. I wanna take my makeup off. <laughs> I'm gonna do one side of my face. Damn! Damn! Yikes! Okay, let's see if the Alme, remember, this is my favorite. Let's see if that works. If it's what I say it is. Y'all saw this. This won't even take it off. Look. My eyes are going to be stinked. 
Okay, well, you know what, y'all? We got it. We had a night of a look. We did a look. <gasps> oh my gosh. What stone is for positive energy? <laughs> Queen's like, we don't want to know about the stone that brings the devil. We want to know about the stone that brings angels. <laughs> I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Look, this stained my eye. Bruh. The fuck? I'm trying to think if I have anything to clean it. It's not coming off. Man. Queen, you should subscribe to Miss Hopkins. She's a very interesting person. What? That's not cool. Man. All right, good night, Maria. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you showing up. Have a good weekend. Love you, girl. Yeah, I think I'm going to say goodnight to everybody. I'm going to go wash my face off. I can't believe this shit. I'm going to go hug up on my man. I didn't get drunk. Everyone give me a, a round of applause. I didn't get drunk. I didn't cuss anyone out. I was a good girl. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing wrong. I was good. Oh, the good girl. Uh, good night. Oh, yeah. Good night, Queen. Good night, Miss Hopkins. You get drunk off one sip. Oh, girl. You a lightweight. Good night, Michaela. Good night. Um, who else is here? Whoever's here watching and is keeping quiet, good night to you. Come through next time and comment, girl. We want to know you. Whoever's watching. <laughs> Mary Lou, if you're still here, good night. Dincia. I'll send you a list of Ouija. Okay, yeah, I'll, I could probably Google that, right? Yeah, y'all stay safe. Baby! Cierra la puerta! I'm gonna take my bra off. <laughs> we can't have the neighbor seeing that shit. Get the door open. All right. Y'all have a great night. I love you guys. Thanks for showing up. I was a good girl. Remember, tell your friends I was a good girl. <laughs> All right. Bye. Y'all have a great weekend. All right, Michaela. Bye.